Uh, well, thank you very much. I'm going to talk about curative markers uh, in the Basque. Basque is spoken in the Basque country, which is uh, the little heart uh, in the middle, not in the middle, uh, on the map between uh, Spain and France. Well, uh, first, I would like to mention some existing descriptions uh, in the grammars of Basque, in the existing grammars of Basque, uh, in the grammar of Waldo Ortiz Urbina, and there is quite an interesting description in uh, the uh, descriptive uh, Basque grammar of the Rake. Uh, well, now let's get to the sources I used for their research. Well, uh, I mostly used uh, the Corpora of Contemporary Basque Language, Redusco Prosa Gaur, and its sub -corpora. Uh Well, then I used the uh, electronic dictionaries and uh, I used Google search, and sometimes I consulted native speakers, but it was really occasionally, uh, well, because of the pandemics. Now, uh, let's get uh, to the uh, most uh, 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 to the uh, widespread uh, Basque postposition, Gabe. Well, uh, it is very um, uh, frequently used. Well, uh, now uh, I would like to mention just some dialectal variants, Bage, Baga, Bare. Well, uh, they are due to metathesis and some phonological uh, change, uh, phonological uh, reduction. And uh, there are some other uh, dialectal variants <clears throat> uh, derived from uh, the <clears throat> this uh, very position Gabe plus the uh, partitive uh, marker Rick. Uh, all of these marker are derived from a noun Gabe meaning leg. Uh, this noun is hardly ever used. Well, it can be used in Basque as a noun, but it is not a very common noun. Well, uh, when you come across uh, the word gaba in the text, most often it is a postposition, a meaning lack of something, uh, without something. Well, mm -hmm. uh, it can attach to a bare noun, to a partitive or an absolute, uh, absolutive, dependent on a definite of referentiality uh, and dependent on the structure of the noun phrase. Well, uh, as you can see, there is a strong tendency to use uh, bare noun phrase with single nouns and to use partitive, partitive for more complex noun phrase, but it's only a tendency and there is a lot of free variation uh, in uh, the use of these markers. And absolutive noun phrase with the same postposition are most used with definite noun phrases. Uh, well, uh, so uh, in fact, uh, to say without light in Basque, uh, uh, we can use the noun phrase argi gabe, uh, literally light without, uh, without any case markers. Well, uh, we can use the partitive marker rig uh, on the noun phrase argi gabe. Sometimes uh, we can come across a less frequent form argi gabe rig, uh, where the postposition is marked with the partitive. And extremely rare are the cases where both of the constituents are marked with the partitive markers. I found only seven examples uh, in the corpus. And uh, this is one of those examples, Berukirik uh, Gaberik without a code. Well, but as I've said, uh, examples like this are quite rare. Well, um, oh, sometimes uh, Basque, uh, 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 the Basque postposition GABA is said to be a noun, but uh, in fact it behaves as a typical Basque postposition. For example, in coding construction, uh, it can attach to all uh, the coding constructions, um, which takes the partit uh, partitive case and GABA. Well, uh, each constituent of the coding constructs construction can take uh, the partitive case and uh, the postposition can attach to this construction. And both of the constituent of the coordinate construction can take both the partitive case and GABA. Well, both Eric GABA and Eric Banga. But in this respect, uh, the, this postposition behaves just uh, many other postpositions uh, in, the, in Basque. Well, now let's get to the syntactic function, functions. Uh, in fact, this postposition can uh, be used in uh, virtually all the syntactic functions we can imagine for uh, in creative construction. Uh, first, I would like to talk about predicate uh, in the uh, about the predicate function. Uh, in the, this function, this function is not quite a creative function, but I would like to mention uh, it for the sake of uh, simplicity. 
Uh, well, uh, so as you can see, it can be used in predicate functions. Uh, he was along, he stayed along and without friends, Lagunik Gabe. Uh, here we can use the verb to stay, but we can use, uh, we could use uh, the verb to be as well. Well, uh, another function, which is quite typical for character construction, is co-predicative function. And uh, I think that you recognize the context uh, with, uh, we saw it yesterday. Uh, when I sent you without process script and choose, uh, did you want anything? And so we use uh, this marker, uh, uh, partitive plus GABA, uh, in this context. Then, uh, uh, I don't know if it is a co-predicative function or something else, but uh, it can attach the whole uh, to the whole sentence. Uh, well, probably it uh, it can be counted as a co-predicative marker. Uh, well, but uh, it can be used in such contexts. Uh, without yon, uh, we can put together uh, the group. Now, Wow. Uh, now let's talk about another syntactic function that is uh, the uh, function of the attribute. And uh, now I don't know exactly whether it is, can be considered as the same marker or not, uh, because uh, to use the, uh, this marker in the attribute function, uh, we have to uh, add an adjectivizer to it. Uh, that is, uh, the result will, would be Gabeco. But uh, in fact, probably we should uh, regard, uh, we should uh, uh, analyze uh, all the characteristic uh, markers, all the uh, as different characteristic markers, because we, uh, as I've said, we can add a bare noun phrase to GABA, we can add an absolutive noun phrase to GABA, we can add a partitive noun phrase to GABA, and uh, we can add the three of them uh, to this adjectivized uh, uh, variant GABECO. But uh, in fact, I I'm not really sure that we do need uh, mm, uh, uh, to account for it in terms of six different uh, characteristic markers uh, uh, in Basque rather than uh, some variants uh, of the only characteristic marker. Well, uh, in fact, this uh, well, the adjectivizer I've been talking about uh, is a regular adjectivizer which can uh, be added to or whatever, uh, to virtually anything, to noun phrases, uh, to postpositional phrases, uh, to clauses, and so on. Uh, here's, uh, you can see we can add it to an instrumental noun phrase, but uh, it's true that it can be added to everything. Well, and uh, well, uh, in attributive function, uh, function, most often it refers to the absence of possession rather than other means, for example, companion or instrument. Uh, well, uh, there are 40, uh, 74 nations without states in Europe, Estaturi uh, Gabeco Nacio, a nation which are without uh, state. So, uh, as you can see, it's uh, uh, semantically it's a possessive function. And, but sometimes it can be used as a companion. Uh, it can be used attributively as a companion. Uh, for example, Gurasu uh, Gabeco Bascaria, a lunch without parents. Uh, it's quite clear that uh, uh, um, parents are companion rather than a possession. Uh, well, some, well, somebody uh, has had a lunch without uh, his parents, his or her parents. Well, and uh, uh, this marker can be used headlessly. Uh, for example, in constructions, uh, in constructions like this, Erantsunik uh, Gabekoak, what is the poetry for? Well, uh, uh, in the contemporary world, difficult, uh, difficult questions without answers. And Antonio Gabekoak, those without answers. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, those headless uses can function in uh, virtually ev uh, every case or every postpositional phrase. Uh, for example, uh, this is an, an example of uh, absolutive headless use of uh, ergative headless use and of commutative headless use. I've been to Palestina as well as uh, on, other, on European borders with those who didn't have documents, uh, with those without documents. Uh, well, uh, now let's get to the semantics of this narrative. Mm, well, uh, the dictionary uh, says that uh, this construction, uh, this postposition can be used in disjunctive construction opposed to commutative or instrumental noun phrases. Uh, for example, 
patata tortilla tipo la rekina legaben patata tortilla with gar garlic or without is a crucial basque question uh, well but uh, it can be used uh, in these functions only it is it denotes uh, committed uh, uh, it, it can be used with these cases only it, if it denotes uh, committative or instrumental uh, function uh, for example you can't say uh, in basque or not in basque using uh, the same marker or you can't say uh, are you happy with your friend or not with your friend using the same marker well uh, now let's get closer to the semantic functions. Uh, well, uh, first, uh, it can be used as a companion, which is quite natural. We will mention that uh, amagabe, uh, uh, they come without their mothers. Well, uh, there is a kind of minimal, minimal, minimal pairs where you can see uh, the negated option and uh, the option uh, without carative marker. Amareken etori to come with mother and uh, amagabe etori to come without mother. Uh, well, uh, the instrument, amakilari gabe, espata et amakilari gabe without a uh, sword and a basque stick and uh, there is the same case in the instrumental with the sword. Uh, it can be used uh, denoting possession as a possessum. Euritakorek gabe irten to leave the house without. Euritakorek gabe irten to leave the house without an umbrella. Uh, or while you are supposed to use a committative case uh, if it is not negated. And uh, it can be used uh, as uh, 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 transport. Mm. Well, uh, it is opposed to the instrumental case. As far as I know, uh, it is not mentioned in the dictionary, but anyway, it can be used uh, uh, to denote uh, some means of transport. For example, escalator mechanical gaba etorisiran, they came without using the escalator, without the escalator. Uh, normally, uh, we are supposed to use uh, the instrumental case, uh, the uh, NSF case in this context. Well, uh, it can be used uh, to talk about uh, condition. Uh, for example, golik uh, gaba. Uh, well, and uh, it can be used with non-finite uh, uh, verbal forms um, uh, to denote a concomitant situation. Well, uh, uh, in fact, it is not a creative meaning, but uh, we use it in our questionnaire, so that's why uh, I decided to list it. But uh, it is used more or less Spanish or French examples uh, or English uh, without something. Uh, and uh, this use is uh, quite common. And uh, there are many other semantic con contexts I haven't listed uh, uh, here because, uh, well, uh, virtually all uh, you can think of the characters can be used here. Well, and uh, now let's get to some, con some uh, more peculiar contexts. Uh, the first of them is uh, what I call non-achievement in space of time. A minute bad gabe, most of the without waiting, without a minute, kepa uh, interrupted them without waiting a minute, and uh, it can have temporal meanings uh, with non uh, with non fine form with non finite forms, and with other verbs etori gabe biar gabe. Well, uh, which is uh, something uh, less common for character constructions uh, in the languages of the world. Well, uh, as for the referential properties, uh, it can be used uh, virtually with any noun phrases, sometimes with a partitive marker, sometimes with an, an absolutive marker. Well, uh, I've uh, given you a list of examples of with non-referential use, but uh, as you can see, it can be used uh, definitely and referentially. Uh, or what he, what would he be without his wife? Uh, it can be used with uh, full uh, with uh, person names, and uh, it can be used with pronouns. Well, uh, well, uh, basically, it can be used in every context. And as for the information destruction, I haven't given you any examples, but uh, it can be used as a part of a topic, as a part of a focus, uh, whatever.
And now I would like to compare uh, this marker to another marker, fault and falters, uh, derived from uh, the word denoting lack. Well, falton uh, is uh, the lack in the initiative case, and uh, falters uh, is the lack in the instrumental case. Well, and here's, uh, well, uh, they can take uh, a bare noun or a genitive noun phrase. Uh, well, here's one of the examples uh, where it is used correctly. Without work, a worker's land remained useless and asleep. Well, Faltan, Well, and uh, now I would like to talk about the difference uh, between the two markers, uh, the one I've talked uh, about and the, this one. Uh, well, uh, the first difference is that uh, the reason connotation is very often observed. Well, for example, uh, when, um, uh, uh, well, uh, for example, the Riggs grammar mentioned uh, translate is for the lack of something. That is, uh, it implies that there is a reason connotation in this marker. Well, uh, but uh, this connotation is not necessary. For example, in, in the first case, uh, Miran cried for a long of time for a lack of the love or for the absence, because of the absence of, the, of love. Uh, well, uh, here we can see that uh, there is a certain reason connotation. But in the case, in the second case, uh, Rosar and Falten, in the absence of Rose of Rosa, uh, I can't see any reason connotation in this um, um, uh, uh, in this sentence. Uh, uh, well, uh, only a certain uh, like absence of uh, somebody can be observed. Uh, well. Uh, the second point is that uh, Faltas presupposes non-existence. And uh, the grammar uh, explicitly say that uh, this marker presupposes non-existence. Uh, well, uh, but uh, in fact, they don't say anything about the non-involvement. And they, they, when the grammars describe other markers, they say that uh, this marker denotes uh, non-existence as well. But if we look into the example, uh, or we can say that uh, if the uh, GABA marker uh, can uh, presuppose both non-existence and non-involvement, uh, the second marker, Falton, uh, talks, uh, is linked uh, with the expression of uh, non-involvement. Non so in Basque, you can say, he overrode the bicycle without hands, escuri GABA. Uh, it's a corpus example, uh, but uh, the informants I talked to uh, don't like uh, to tell uh, I don't like to say esquire and faltas uh, well, in the absence of the hand. Uh, pragmatically, it would be quite weird. Well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the next difference is the difference in semantic, uh, which is linked to the previous difference. Uh, well, because of uh, this uh, denoting of uh, absence or non movement, uh, uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, some uh, semantic functions are pragmatically restricted. Well, uh, it's possible to say uh, but it's quite uh, quite weird to say uh, not having a car. Well, and uh, there is a certain uh, statistical difference in syntactic functions. While GABA can be used everywhere, uh, FALTAN or FALTAS uh, is often used in co-predicative function, but is most often used in the predicative fun function, uh, which is not a typical fun function for characters. And uh, it is not used attributively, uh, whether uh, purely attributively or in headless uses. And uh, it cannot denote a concomitant situation as as well. And uh, well, uh, uh, the last one, uh, the last point I would like to bring your attention to uh, is the frequency. If uh, GABA is a really frequent postposition, Falton or Faltas, uh, the, while it is productive, uh, it's uh, much less, uh, much more rare, uh, much rarer than the first uh, postposition. Well, uh, how much time do I have? Uh, um, we should have 10 minutes for questions. Um, 
Well, uh, well, uh, uh, I'm going to mention only, uh, I will skip this one and uh, I'm going to talk about, uh, well, uh, about, uh, I just, uh, I would like just to mention uh, another uh, uh, characteristic marker, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, so there are two derivation, uh, uh, two derivative uh, characteristic marker in Basque, GABA, uh, which oh, is the same GABA in the, uh, as the GABA in the previous section, uh, but it is a, a derivative marker. Uh, and uh, it can be used only attributively and only to denote a position. And uh, the last mark I would like uh, to mention, uh, I would like to mention uh, is the uh, derivative marker mods, uh, a meaning short, uh, it can be used only in only attributively and uh, it can denote only possession, normally a body part, uh, sometimes a part of the clothes. Uh, it is not very productive, productive it, uh, it denotes a shortness or absence of a part of the body or something like this. Uh, for example, a missing a hand, missing a leg, uh, without an ear, with short cones and so on. And uh, it's quite interesting, it seems to be quite interesting between uh, uh, in the sample Sonia mentioned yesterday, uh, there are uh, quite a few languages uh, which have specialized marker which can denote an absence of a part of the body, but can't, uh, cannot denote an absence of uh, some other things, for example, uh, a member of a family or legal possession and so on. And that's why it seems quite interesting. Well, that's all. Uh, thank you for the talk. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can write in chat or ask now. I have a question. Um, may I? Okay. Um, so, Natasha, thank you so much. I was actually um, thinking about example 13. Um, so you had this example where uh, you said there was no uh, reason connotation, but um, I think that we could see a conditional connotation there. I'm saying, uh, 30 or uh, 30, uh, uh, 30, so, uh -huh, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, well, uh, Rosaran, uh, uh, should I share the slides? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably you are right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think we should really uh, uh, try to, to, to invent probably an example or, well, a context, a stimul stimulus, mm -hmm. where we have uh, an impossibility of both uh, reason and conditional uh, connotation mm -hmm. to, to mm -hmm. check if uh, Falten or Faltas really could be without those both. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, huh? yeah, and for the 31 uh, on the next slide, I also thought that maybe uh, if if I'm right about the previous one, then maybe this uh, asterisk is explainable also by, by this stimulus not being uh, reason or conditional, but not mm -hmm. by its uh, non-existence. Uh, but it's not a non-involvement. Mm -hmm. uh, if it was rather mm -hmm. okay, so it's 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 in the in the um, mm -hmm. in the beginning, so it could be also mm -hmm. uh, understood. Yes, okay, so then, then I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, mm -hmm. okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you Thanks so much. Okay, may I ask a question? Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned in the end that, do you hear me? Yes, okay. Yeah. So uh, you mentioned in the end that GABA is also used as the derivational suffix, mm -hmm. for example, beardless. Mm -hmm. But if I un understand correctly, you can also express the same meaning with the attributivized postpositional phrase without a beard, mm -hmm. which is, yes? Mm -hmm. So yeah. am I right? And what is, is there any difference then uh -huh. uh, between well, these two types uh, of yeah. expression? Uh, 
Uh, as far as I understand, uh, uh, the first option is uh, uh, more uh, is more lexicalized. Uh, it is used in some. Uh, it can't attach to anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, there was a s uh, small comment. Uh, Hey, um, my small comment was about my my comment. Just comment, not a small comment. I'm sorry. Well, at all, it can also be small. Um, it was about uh, the fact that um, uh, I was wondering um, in Russian, uh, if you form a carative adjective such as biznogi, the presence of an uh, adjectival suffix. Mm -hmm. um, so compare, I don't know, bispozvanochny. Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, or bez, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to biznogi, um, the presence of an, uh, of an overt suffix seems to depend on A, uh, it being uh, inalienable possession, mm -hmm. and B, it being, being visible. So mm -hmm. I was wondering whether um, there could be something similar here. That was a very small comment. Uh, well, I don't think so, but I have to check it. But uh, it's, uh, uh, do you mean Gabe or the last one, Mots? I meant Gabe, but um, yeah. Well, uh, I have to check it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I had also a small comment that um, I was interested by this uh, last uh, means um, coming from uh, the adjective short. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you didn't mention it, but English also has such uh, use of short, uh, something like uh, I'm, I'm two dollars short, I'm liking two dollars, or um, brain no. short. <laughs> well, like uh, in fact, in, uh, in English, it's not a derivative marker, well, well but yeah, it can sure be. Enough, sure enough. Yeah. But it can be compared to it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I also, uh, in this uh, connection, I was also interested, um, doesn't it have such, so in, in, in English case, uh, we have, I think, something close to what Timur uh, was talking about yesterday, uh, about this, as far as I remember, Z marker, which mm -hmm. expresses um, not a pure carative, but some, uh, uh, some, some lack of, of partial lack of something, right? So mm -hmm. it's not, uh, he's fully without money, but he's short of money, he has some um, yeah. mm -hmm. small amount missing. And yeah. in this case, uh, you didn't uh, come over any um, instances where it is such a meaning and not a fully carried. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bustan Bots with a short tail. Uh, it does uh -huh. It can uh, it can uh, mean both of them uh, with a short tail or without tail, mm -hmm. but and in fact uh, the most uh, the most interesting uh, I found uh, I find about this uh, derivational marker is that uh, it can be used uh, with a uh, restricted uh, uh, with a restricted amount of noun uh, denote a part of the body or sometimes uh, something that has to do with clothes. Uh, prakamots uh, well uh, with a short well prakamots are with short trousers. It does mean without trousers. It means with short trousers. Yeah, but but I think those uh, both uh, examples that you mentioned uh, mm -hmm. with short trousers and with a short tail. These are rather even purely lexical uses, like in in the in the meaning short. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, but but I see that that eskumots and uh, th these mm -hmm. things mean missing a hand, not both hands, right? Uh, 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 in fact, uh, I think, uh, in fact, uh, as far as I understand, it can uh, mean uh, missing one hand, but... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well. yeah, yeah, I think that would also be uh, yeah. not, not a full carative, but mm -hmm. a partial carative of a kind. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, 